Yeah, hello, my name is Florian Schwantner. I'm CEO and co-founder of Runtastic. And Runtastic is actually a fitness company. We started five years ago doing a very popular app for running, for tracking your run and bike rides. But also we figured out, based in Austria, Europe, in the winter it's cold, not that many people outside running. So we did other fitness apps as well. And by the time we also started going into the hardware business, so we have our own wearable, the Runtastic Orbit, the company grew to 105 people bootstrapped without funding. And that's really a cool success story. How we started was really tracking sailboats uh, races, but that was really a start. But we figured out there's not a big market out there. Therefore, we changed and we switched um, to the phone and said, "Okay, let's track runners and biking and all that stuff." And that worked actually pretty well. My co-founders are very technical technical based and they started uh, tracking the sailing boat so but they had no clue about business so they didn't do a business plan and they didn't thought about we could build something big but we just got together and they said how we can make that happen and we came up with the idea let's do that more for mass sport like running and all that stuff so we just switched and yeah finally it worked pretty well so the strategy for entering a, a foreign market is very important for Runtastic because based in Austria, just 8 million people, you have to think globally. So what we did very good at the beginning, we started with localization. But even though we are not funded, so we haven't had money for doing that, what we did is we asked our power users in Italy, in Spain, to help translate the app. And so we paid really zero dollars and we translated the app, I think, in more than 10 languages. And that was really successful for starting. Getting, getting out in a native language is totally different. So when you are being an app developer, really think about localization first. That really boosts your download. Developing a hardware platform is really a tough thing. So it's really being a software company, software driven, making all the revenue and the reach via software. And then the hardware, we just found a good partner who is in the business for 20 years, understanding the hardware business. Other than that, we wouldn't have done that because we know doing hardware is really, can be really tough. You know, all those legal stuff, you need a lot of working capital and it takes a while from manufacturing to selling the first product. So my advice would be really think when you're going into the hardware business that you will need a lot of money and a long time to getting everything set up. In general, um, to getting partnerships for startup is always kind of dangerous. So what we figured out in the last years, so we tried to do a lot of partnerships, but most of them failed because as a startup, you're very agile, you're fast, you don't need those long contracts. Um, and so when you're working with big companies, sometimes, you know, they get in with five lawyers, having all that stuff. And we always try to avoid that from the very first meeting. We said, we can do a partnership, but really we have to keep the, the contract very small and getting started fast. And that also would be my advice. There's a big difference between B2C and B2B. And B2B business, you really need a long time for preparation, legal stuff, service level agreement. So I would be careful being a young startup. I definitely would not focus on both. Either you're here or there, but don't mix it up. So what makes Runtastic different uh, compared to the competitors? So there's, there are two things, actually. I think we are one of the only companies who is doing hardware and software, even we are software-driven. And software-wise, what we have done, building many, many apps out there and trying to build an own ecosystem. So we have seen many players in the field. They open the APIs, they connect to each other. But I think the data quality is very different. So one calorie tracking app, um, you go for a run an hour, you have 600 calories. The other one has just 300 calories burned. And then mixing the data that doesn't fit, in my opinion. What we're trying to do is really have all these products from Runtastic, uh, working with Runtastic, you know, and building our own Runtastic ecosystem. So why socializing is important in the fitness space? I think and I totally believe that it's really easy to work out together. That's one big benefit. Um, you know, sometimes you're just tired and you think, should I go for a workout? But if then you call me or somebody's calling me, I said, okay, oh, let's do. But what we have figured out as well, that people love to share the workouts. So that was really at the beginning as we started Runtastic, no budget for marketing, but Facebook sharing, social sharing was so popular and really helped us a lot to spread the word about our company, about our products. And I think... Also, it's very positive when you're doing workouts. It's not such a I just came for three hours and I ate bad things. So I really did a workout. I'm feeling great. It was sunny. I can share the photos, the, you know, the passion. And I think that's really the success behind it. So, and in future, where we would like to go, really connect people that like out running. And I know I met somebody, but we couldn't start talking because both of us run probably in the, in the other direction. And we'd like to connect those people behind it.
So that's the idea, what we're going to do with the social network. So what, what is next at Runtastic? At the moment, I think all the tracking apps and all the health and fitness space is just at the beginning. So we are tracking data, but we don't predict and we don't coach in the right way. There are many training plans out there, but they are very, they are not very HL. You know, when you're getting hurted, you're not motivated, you're getting sick. Um, the plan is not changing. What we'd like to do, having the data from all those users and knowing, okay, we've seen somebody similar like you and um, you'd like to lose five pounds, for example, then we know we had a thousand people very similar and we knew how they made it to get there and we'd like to coach you in the same way and giving you a prediction where you will be in three or four weeks. So you really push you and say, you can be that, you can be there. And that is exactly where I think the future it looks like. We can tell you where you would be in two months. And that's really cool to, to know how your body will look like, how you will feel. And so you will get excited about that. Mm-hmm.